Jungle Squad, it is that time for the tournaments. I want to explain how this works for everybody. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch, no matter what, you will understand how this works. So I've invited nine of my mods on my Twitch channel to be in this fun little friendly tournament of ours. And I gave them all a plus one, making it a total of 18. We are doing a freelance elimination tournament. Everybody's been bracketed randomly. The reason it's freelance is because I think freelance is fun. Everybody enjoys that. So every match will be a different combination of players every match these players have opportunities to earn points you earn two points for every opponent eliminated not killed but eliminated so if you get two damage on them and somebody else on your team gets them still two points and then you get seven points if your team wins seven points if your team wins two points for an opponent eliminated we're going to add them up two games for each bracket in round one and whoever the four with the most points out of six will move on to round two round two will be three matches and round Three is the finals. That will be five matches. So the idea, opponents eliminated, two points, get the win, five points, add them up across the two games in bracket one. The top four scores of six move on. Game one is Astral, Brunel, and Todd against Jobo, Vibe Midnight, and Wraith. I am going to wipe in the spawn, and we're going to spectate, and it's going to be great. They do have voice comms. They are communicating. Game one of the friendly mods plus ones tournament, the Jungle Squad tourney. Look at the options. We got Endless Veil. We got Elimination. We got everything we need. Let's begin. All right, dude. Round one, bracket one, match one. It all begins. All right, we got Todd, Astral, and Brunel. They're pushing to the right. Todd thinking of challenging mid lane. No, he's got his sniper on. He's looking across on right. Astral has somebody miss a snipe on him. He's jumping up top and gets sprayed down by Vibe Midnight. Brunel is getting sucked. This is not good. Todd does get a pick, though. He's in a 1v2 scenario. He's got the res with him. Forerunner on the left side. Absolutely blast him. Jobo takes him out. And the enemy team does have round one here. Todd on the board with a kill, though. Ashley got a little bit greedy. Jumped up top. Got actually fried. Vibe with the two opponents eliminated on top after round one. All right, let's follow Astral as he goes to the left here. Going in the little up top spot. Up top. He's trying to find a kill. Todd getting sprayed a little bit. Brunel tries to take over. Gets body. Brunel's got to play it safe. Puts a Wither Ward up top, hopefully to protect herself. Todd maybe going to look down this middle lane, trying to fry a little bit with Teraba. If he uses enough Teraba on them, he can maybe get One some kills. Left. Wraith gets Astral, but Brunel takes he down Wraith. Joe will take down Brunel. We got a 1v1. Todd going up against Vibe Midnight. Astral's res is up, and Todd's trying to grab it. Teraba versus Teraba. Todd has to reload. Vibe has to reload. They both give up on the fight, and Astral's getting rezzed. 2v1 now, but he almost has a Teraba perk. And Astral is able to stay alive after Todd and Vibe trade. Shit's getting real, friends. All right. Brunel smoking the squad. Astral and Todd running in. Todd's hitting the lead, pushing into the cubby. Astral with a shotgun on Vibe Midnight. Todd going to the left, getting a flank. Wraith trying to spray him down. Astral takes his cover. Todd going up top towards B. Astral trying to get in there on the fight. Healing grenade was used by the enemy team, and Astral retreats, getting Brunel's res. Once again, it's a 3v2 scenario. Brunel... Fighting against some people in a rift. Not a great idea here. Astral takes over. Todd right behind. Astral with a double kill. It's all Astral bodies that round. Astral frying. Astral, all three opponents eliminated. Let's go. Todd going in a little bit. There is heavy ammo and Wraith takes him down. Astral grabs the green. Reloading the shotgun. Brunel shooting a Wither Horde in the cubby, but getting sprayed from the left. Runs into a grenade from Jobo. Very good teamwork by the enemy team there. We're on board with Wraith now. Wraith, Vibe, and Jobo. Wraith gets domed by Todd in the middle. Vibe putting down the little sucky Rift. Seeing if he can get his suck off on someone. Got a little tracking grenade here. They are in a 2v3 scenario and Vibe and Jobo are getting changed. Jobo now 1v3. Will he be able to get a kill? He will not. Pretty evenly matched beginning of this one. Everyone's going to have a good amount of points here because there's a lot of kills happening. Wraith got sniped last time going middle. This time he's going to run to the right. Look it up top with the sniper rifle. Hoping to get a pick. Jobo there with the forerunner as well. Nobody's challenging this angle. Vibes looking middle. Seems like the other team is playing slow. We did hear the invis. Invis challenge and vibe with the miss snipe. Jobo with the forerunner looking for a pick. One minute. Looks like Vibe gets a body shot on Astral. Astral the first to go down. He's been a very aggressive player in this tournament so far. Wraith with the body shot on the board as well. Jobo spraying the cubby, putting down a rift. I feel like Astral has been a little overly aggressive sometimes, but he's also been very dominant at other times. So it's paid off sometimes, and it's absolutely cost down. his team sometimes, too. 
Three to three. It is seven points for each player if they do land the W. So it's a very big deal to get the win. Jobo on the left with the forerunner. It does have players up top. Brunel with the wither horde. Jobo trying to retreat a little bit. We do have a tracking nade in this area. And Wraith goes down. Vibe in the nade. And Jobo's now stuck in a 1v3. He's getting pushed. And he is down. Goodness gracious. It's been a back and forth in game one of this tournament. Now we need Astral, Todd, and Brunel to get one more round win. And this is over. All right, let's hop on board with Wraith. He was the crowd favorite. People voted on Wraith to win this thing. Bracket one, most points vote. It was his. Tracking nade's going to force them away. Looking down mid lane with Wraith Sniper. Not able to get a shot. Vibe pushing in. Looks like he's getting surrounded a little bit. Jobo's down. Vibe and Wraith are in a 2v3. Wraith gets pushed from behind by Astral. It's 1v3. Vibe needs to clutch up. Vibe goes down. Getting bagged bad. Game one goes to Todd, Astral, and Brunel. An upset. The team that was expected to win has not. All right, opponents eliminated at two points. Todd gets 20 for that, but then he also wins the game, so 27 points for Todd. Astral, Todd looking good. Jobo, Vibe, Wraith looks like two of you might join, and Brunel's got a lot of catch-up to do. Game two, Widow's Court. Astral, Jobo, Brunel. Astral, Jobo, Brunel versus Todd, Vibe, and Wraith. The whole goal is to have fun. I want you guys to have a good ass time. I know that Destiny might be slightly not in the best spot right now. I'm trying to make up for that and have it be a bunch of fun for the participants and for the viewers. All right, Todd, let's check you out as you look at the top of the stairs. There is a red light up there. He's going to take a different angle. Wraith going through church with a sniper in hand as well. The Yasmin seems to be a very popular sniper. I believe the team we are on board with now is the favorite here. They seem to be a little bit more stacked than the other team vibe trailing behind as they all three push through the right side jobo and todd with the trade is a 2v2 One vibe with the terabao putting a rift down here comes a smoke from the enemy team it's a very good smoke they're pushing up on this they get the revive up top on jobo vibes trying to get the res but it's turning out weird I think his sucky suck might have helped a lot there. They're actually in a 3v2 now. Down goes Brunel. 3v1. Vibe going crazy with the Terraba. I honestly think that the uh, the purple suck saved him there. He shot it up top. It stopped the res up there. And it gave him a really good opportunity to just go crazy. Wraith with no kills. But on the winning team. 3 for Todd. 3 for Mr. Vibe. Wraith going to go to the top of the stairs. The only weapons that are banned, friends, are sunset weapons. Vibe's here to help. He's got his little Old sucky rift down. A study released in 1969 Todd goes down to Jobo's fusion. Wraith with a snipe. Space. Two to two. Actually start a fire. Wraith pushing up top. Can he find someone to fight? He seems like he knows there's someone here. Two guys on B. Wraith with a leftward flank. Vibe with the rightward flank. Can they work together and push together? Sucky suck going up top on B to help out. Fusion from Astral Bodies takes down Vibe. Wraith in a 1v3 after they get that res. He's trying to rotate away, but Astral's not letting him. Healing Grenade is out. Teraba's out. He takes down Astral. Can he get the Teraba perk? 1v2 scenario now. Astral got a little bit aggressive. His teammate was not there to back him. Wraith getting sprayed down. Uses the Worm Husk. He's in a fight against Brunel. Brunel takes down Wraith. And it's 1-1. Uptown Mr. Brown, welcome to the Top Daily D. Jobo says, fuck you, bitch, and runs right at him. Astral gets a huge fusion kill. We got Vibe sucking off someone and Todd getting the flank with the snipe. It's one to one here. That suck is going to prevent the revive. Todd pushes in trying to deal with it. Gets melee by Jobo after getting Astral down. Damn, close round. Todd was not able to do it. I don't know who it was, but someone got the res while getting sucked. That's very impressive. Jobo three and Astral two kills. Wraith going to the top of the stairs in his heavy ammo round. Getting sprayed by a pulse rifle. Todd also getting hit pretty hard. Both hard scope and up top. This is Widow's Court gameplay at its finest. Seems like they have the up top angle. Wraith, can you put your cloak down, bro? I'm trying to see. One minute. Wraith gets hit by a grape. He's getting sprayed down. Wraith one shot as hell. Will he stay behind cover? It looks like he will. Todd coming to join. Slow round here. Body shot from Wraith. He's trying to push up on it, but he runs right into a rift. Wraith needs to take cover. Healing grenade as somebody is up top on the flank. Todd going in for the push and gets Astral down. Astral overextends just a little bit. Todd reloading the sniper. Two pushing down mid lane. Wraith, he's up front. Todd's got his back. They trade out. Fusion rifle from Jobo. Jobo's got a double kill. Vibe's got the heavy, but Jobo's got the fusion. Can Vibe take advantage of his heavy? 
He can! Right into Jobo Toes Garden. Vibe clutches up the round. To the other team we go. On board with Astral Bodies now as he pushes up top with his sniper rifle. Jobo's nearby. They don't know where Brunel is. Brunel's on the left. Brunel chilling by Invis. Just watching. Astral and Jobo together. Brunel's been left alone. Brunel's trying to survive. They're pushing. Brunel's Invis. And Wraith takes down Astral. Not a good spot for Jobo and Brunel as they get pushed from the top of the stairs. Good bow shot that will push them back. But now a tracking grenade will make that res kind of tough. Yep, Jobo tries to get the res. Tracking grenade says no. Brunel with a kill. Let's go, Brunel. 1v2 for Jobo. He misses the fusion. Puts him in a bad spot. <gasps> Going for the crazy arc melee. It does not pay out. Nova Bomb and Blade Barrage up on the other team. Here comes a Nova from Vibe on to Jobo. Can it get more? 2v3 now. Astral deciding to retreat. Brunel thinks, yep, fuck this. One minute. Astral gets some damage. Brunel trying to hop in, throws a grenade. Getting shot from behind is Astral, though. Astral takes down Wraith. We got a 2v2. Brunel with the free angle. Does get the bow shot off. That will push them back. Astral trying to survive. Now they both have their supers. Don't leave that res, though. They leave the res. Astral, double kill with the slam. Brunel, can they come in and help? Astral shooting him in the butt. Astral leaves no one standing. Four kills and a huge round from Astral Bodies. Let's go, Astral. God damn, look at that. Three to three. One super from each team is gone. All right, three, three. Really good matchup so far. Jobo gets two with the Chaos Reach. It's a 1v3 scenario now. Astral teamwork, shooting the suck for Jobo. What a good teammate. Brunel fighting the last player. It is Todd versus Jobo, Astral, and Brunel. Todd somewhere up top. Brunel and Astral pushing on him. Trying to figure out where he is. You don't want to leave the revives, though. Will Todd pull off the Terrible Super 1v3? This team's playing very, very, very patient. Very smart. Waiting for the zone. Zone is up. Jobo is nearest. Jobo starting the cap. Todd coming in with a missile. No! They grouped up! No! How do you let that happen? No! They grouped up and Todd just supers the entire enemy team on one of the widest, biggest maps available. No shot and it's three to four. Let's get on board with Jobo. He's fighting almost everybody it seems. Brunel's the one with the super, so let's watch Brunel here. Jobo dies to a grenade. Brunel's gonna have to pop. If she does not pop aggressively here, they will probably Blade Barrage her. Oh, Brunel with an excellent grenade, but there's the Blade Barrage we expected. Astral in a 1v2 now. Getting sprayed in the back. He's going to have a hard time getting away from this. Even if he does get away, it's going to be a 1v3. And now Astral needs to pull off the Holiday Miracle. He does get a kill, but he gets taken down, and that will do it for bracket one. It is time to rally up, total up all the points, and see who our four players are moving on. 26 points for opponents eliminated, plus seven is 33 points that round. Holy fuck. Todd, vibe with 10, 20, plus seven, 27. Wraith with seven, 14, plus seven is 21. So there's that team. Jobo with 20 points, Astro with 18, and Brunel with 10. And then we're going to start doing some math and figure out who our top four are, chat. Okay, first place Todd, 60. Second place Astral, 43. Third place Vibe, 41. Wraith by one point. 37 to claim fourth place. And Jobo with 36 points comes in fifth. Ah! Oh, one more opponent eliminated. And Jobo gets to go to the next round. But instead, Todd, Astral, Vibe, and Wraith are one, two, three, and four. Heading into bracket or round number two. You needed 37 points to make it through bracket one, which is crazy to me. That was a really, really, really intense couple of matches. All right, bets are closed. Crowd favorite is Eclipse. Underdog, nobody bet on tie. Dude, if it's a tie, nobody wins. <laughs> Mr. Kumara, Grizz, and Patty. Let's hop on board with Mr. Big Daddy Patty, who's doing a front flip and making his teammates. Radiance pushing down middle lane with a forerunner. Pushing through, getting a little aggressive here. Drang and Forerunner for Patty, avoiding the Wither Horde shot from the enemy team. Three mods on the other side, one mod and two plus ones on this side. Patty gonna think about pushing through tube. Let's get on board with somebody else. Kumara thinking about going from the right. There are two people there and a GL shot from Kumara. Grizz following up on Patty, no kills yet. A little bit of slow gameplay. There is a trip mine in here. Invis on the left. Grizz holding this angle. Patty pushes in, gets the kill. Healing grenades, gets out. 
Big pick from Big Daddy. Patty looking to the left, trying to get another one. Fusion from Maywood. Patty takes him out. Front flip, baby. He's radiant. Patty with a team wipe on round one. Any assists from the teammates? We'll see. But Patty going huge in round one. And Kumara does snag two of the opponents eliminated, too. Patty's front flipping. Kumara's nearby with a dead messenger. Uh oh. Patty's in a bad spot. The healing grenade might help. He's getting shot in the butt. Patty gets teamed. Eclipse takes him down. Kumara with the leftward angle here, throwing the nade. Grizz is in there. Grizz with a kill. 2v2. This guy doesn't see Kumara spraying Shiz from the side, and Grizz takes down Eclipse. First round, all Patty. Second round, not at all Patty, but 2 0. Sidearm. Empirical evidence of a sniper. His cloak is blocking everything. He goes invis. Patty on the left. Pushing. Patty with a good angle, though. We got three people here. Grizz decides to run right at him. Empirical evidence takes him down. Awood takes out Kumara. Patty goes down. 1v2 for Grizz. Grizz getting shot from behind. Goes invis. Getting shot in the butt. Can he isolate this 1v1? He can. But that's not good enough. Dead messenger shot from nearby. He's got a knife to protect the heavy. Patty makes it out with a front flip and a GL, and Grizz takes down Awood. Grizz dead to Eclipse, but Patty with a heavy ammo kill. Two heavy ammo kills. That's a good amount of points for Big Daddy Patty. We go to the other squad. On board with Awood. As he runs down middle lane, Eclipse with a nice little barrier here. Three to one is not a good sign for this squad. Grizz goes fucking crazy mode, and Shiz now in a 1v2. Grizz, or Shiz is going to be screwed. He does manage to get a kill, though. Patty, Grizz, and Kumara just landsliding a little bit here. Patty with three opponents eliminated again. Shiz with two, EK with one. Shizwiz getting left behind a little bit. Three on trains now. They're pushing through. Awood pushes too far, gets sprayed down by Kumara. But Shiz and Eclipse team him. 2v2. Can they push for the res? It looks like they don't want to. Res looks pretty obtainable here. I think it's still pretty good. Eclipse now going for it. Shiz was getting 1v2'd while it happens. Can he get behind cover? He can. 3v2. Eclipse pushing from the side. Awood down to Grizz. But Eclipse slapping some booties. 2v1 now. Shiz with EK against Patty. EK goes down. It's Shiz versus Patty. Shiz gives up on the res. <gasps> to your left. Shiz. Patty doesn't shoot him. Patty's farming. 30 seconds Patty runs into a wall trying to escape. Very awkward round there. Shiz didn't know Patty was on the left, but Patty didn't see him reviving either. Awood pushing to the left. Shiz right behind. Eclipse right behind. Awood goes invis and just runs in, dude. He's saying, fuck it. They do have Blade Mirage. It's probably Big Daddy Patty, and they're all three very grouped up. Here comes Patty. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so so Patty seems to be in a good position to get a lot of points here, friends. Two points per opponent defeated. 24 plus 7 for winning. 31 points for Patty. So Patty, 31. Grizz, 25. Kumara, 19. Shiz, 12. Eclipse, 10. Awood, 8. Game 2 of bracket 2 of round 1. Patty looking very good to advance. Grizzaxia looking good too. Kumara looking good. Shizwiz, Eclipse, Awood might need to fight it out for that fourth spot. Final match for this six. We're on board with the Shizzy Wiz as he pushes to the left with his forerunner. Seems his two teammates are inside. Shiz was going to try to join them. Grizz fighting probably Patty. Grizz taking down the point leader Patty, but gets hit by a grenade launcher from Mr. Kumara. Eclipse jumps in to try to spray him down. He wins the fight. Can he get the res? Shiz is going to go for it. Good shit, Eclipse. Getting two kills and securing the round for Grizz and Shiz. On board with Eclipse, who just won the other round for the squad, pushing to the left towards B with a Forerunner in hand. God, the Forerunner is just the obvious choice right now. EK putting down his Titan wall. Grizz looking outside, avoids the GL. They're going to jump on him. Grizz dives out. EK shooting a trip mine. Shiz goes down outside of Patty. Grizz pushing back up with EK in a 2v3. Good trip mine. Another trip mine from Grizz. Grizz going huge with the trip mines. And he gets the kill, getting shot in the back. But Eclipse has his back anyway. It's two to nothing. Shiz looking on the left. Up two to nothing is EK, Grizz, and Shiz. Grizz outside with the sniper in the BXR. 
He might have swapped because he was using the macabre thing. Patty, three taps Eclipse. Shiz trying to take over that angle. Here comes a GL. Shiz gets the kill after getting hit by the GL. Good kill there. Trip mine hits. Another trip. There's trips on each side now. Forerunner in hand. Shiz trying to watch heavy. Here comes a knife. Knife to the dick. Kumara has rockets. I think they've been fired. Grizz is not going to be able to do anything with that trip mine on the box. EK outside alone just praying he can survive. Shiz picks Big Daddy Patty. EK decides to retreat. She is very weak. Grizz, maybe trying to watch the res? Yep, res very close. EK's got an angle on the res too. 3v2 is EK and Shiz go in this. Grizz with the kill. Shiz with the kill. 3 to 1. Patty and Kumara were the champions of last match. Not looking so good this match. Let's join Mr. Kumara, the dead messenger champion himself. Avoiding a trip mine, getting suppressed. Awood going outside with Kumara. Patty gets a kill, but does get taken out. Awood smacked by the trip over to Patty's res. There's one getting the res back there. Now they're in a 3v2. Awood and Kumara trying to shoot down this trip mine, losing the fight to it, and then he runs towards it and gets blasted by Grizz. Kumara can't take him out either. Grizz with a good double kill. All right, let's join Patty, who we have not yet watched this match. Patty with the four runner looking towards B. Awood taking some damage. Trip mines and grenade launchers take down A Wood. Kumara gets blasted. Patty 1v3. Can you get the res? Radiant flip. Going for the res. Does get a pick on Eclipse. Does get the res. Healing grenade. A Wood getting shot in the butt. Patty gets a kill, but could not do anything else. And there goes the match. On top, Grizz. 28 points plus 7. 35 for Grizz. Holy shit. Grizz went nuts. Top four points move on to round two. First place in that bracket, Grizexia. Second place, Patty with 47. Third place, Shizwiz with 29. Fourth place, Eclipse with 27. Unfortunately, Kumara and Awood have been eliminated from the tournament. But Grizexia with 60 points. Boom! If you bet on Grizexia, you win. Uh, crowd favorite is Praxy. And underdog is Broodwitch. Let's do it! On burnout. On board with Jayhawks reported. Jayhawks reported in Praxy all pushing left very together. Another forerunner gamer. Jayhawks going in biz pushing with the Prax. Prax inside already. Prax pushing towards the mid lane. Jayhawks with him. Reported standing behind him. Only rank 12. What a noob. Very, 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 very slow gameplay so far. This man's a Titan and he's not using. <gasps> There's all three. He's not using the Storm Nade. Reported gets collapsed on. Jayhawks. Gets bouncing knifed by Chill Place. Praxy in a 1v3. Knifed in the back. Very bad situation for Mr. Praxy as he goes down to Brood. The bouncing knife from Chill Place. Oh my. Alright, he reported. You should be using tracking grenades, sir. One snipe miss from up top outside. Wall from reported. Praxy playing it slow. Jayhark's. Here is a trespasser on the left with the flank. With the angle. Too weak. One down. Assassin goes down. There was one on bridge as well. Reported decides to push in. He goes right past him. Can't survive. 2v1 now. The res is happening. More points if they can farm it, but they don't farm it. Praxy playing it safe. Going for the res. Jayharks gets the kill. 3v1. Healing nade coming out from Chill. Chill's trying to run away. Can he turn around and bouncy knife him? Dodge to get the knife back. Misses the knife. He did dodge to get the knife back. All right, let's watch Praxy as he forerunners somebody on bridge. Praxy smoking. Pushing. Rift with arc balls included. Praxy says, nah, fuck that. Assassin going with the support role. He's putting down stag rifts with the arc balls. Reported. Watch as Praxy get fucking fried. Assassin's on the board. All three of them stand up top at a stag rift. That is not a good sight. Jayarks backs up. Reported trying to get away. Misses a snipe. Forerunner in the kidneys. And now Jayarks in 1v3 putting down the smoke and getting pushed. Very hard by a chill place in his SMG. Heavy ammo inbound. Praxy pushing it. Hand cannon. Oh, Forerunner just slaps him in the face so bad. Jayhawks reported backpedal. They're scared. They're nervous. They're terrified. Assassin's got a grenade launcher. And he gets taken out. Reported grenades himself. Jayhawks throws nothing. He tried to smoke. He doesn't have one. There is a res in the middle. If they don't push it, they won't be able to do anything. Chill Place grabs the heavy from Assassin and takes out two. Chill Place dominating. In this game right now.
Brood in the middle alone with his forerunner. Getting shot from the side, backing up. Assassin does have a ball on his forehead. Pushing forward, healing grenade from Chill. Shotgun from Praxy. Chill Place takes him out, though. Praxy with the first pick. One minute. Chill Place makes him pay. Brood trying to get the free revive. Does indeed. Assassin is up and reported tries to get the res, but Brood says, uh uh. 3v1 now. Brood in this going up top. Sidearm coming in from the enemy player. It is Jayharks in 1v3. Assassin gets destroyed, but Jayharks can't clutch it up and get all three. Did Assassin get a shot on him, though? Assassin get any points? Um, yeah, Assassin got two opponents eliminated. Nice. All in this. Assassin overextending a little bit. He's able to get back into the rift, though. Brood fights off the enemies trying to push in. Chill Place with balls on his forehead. Does get a bouncing knife on one, but does not want to push. Tether coming in. Oh, shit. Assassin just jumping in, and he can't jump back. He's down. Broodwitch does get the kill. Broodwitch does die. And now we're in a 1v2. Chill gets it. And then he gets the Blade Barrage for the clutch 1v2. He gets the first pick, which gave him Blade Barrage, and he capitalized and did not take that super to orbit. Let's go. Chill place. He has 18 points plus 7, 25. Brood, 18 points plus 7, 25. Assassin, 12 points plus 7, 19 points. Jayharks coming in with a hot, crispy 14. Praxy, 8. Reported did not have a very fun time. 25, 25, 19, 14, 8, 0. Game 2. Broodwitch reported in Praxy versus Chill Place, Assassin, and Jayharks. Bracket 1, 2, and 3 was in round 1, 2 matches each. Bracket 4 and 5 are round 2, 3 matches each. And then bracket 6 is the final bracket. That's the finals. There's 5 rounds in there. Chill plays going to B. Jayharks and Assassin with him. Chill with a 6 snipe on reported. Assassin beats down Praxy in the mouth. Throwing knife. Missed from Chill. He's getting sprayed a little bit. He's trying to get shots on. He wants credit for the opponent eliminated. And I think he got it. Assassin in his stag rift. Forerunner's going crazy. He's just trying to survive, but that grenade from Reported will not let him survive. Good grenade, Reported. Jayhark's invis fighting another invis. Takes down Praxy. Healing grenade saves their life. Chill with the throwing knife. Chill with the throwing knife. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen. Chill Place loves this exotic. Top daily, top weekly. Good kill, Assassin. Takes down Brood. Chill Place with a throwing knife. Bounces another one, but it's too late. Jayharks takes him down. We're going to join Brood as he goes in this and pushes towards the heavy. This team is up or down. Zero to three. Brood. Look, looking to the right. Jayharks takes down reported. Brood not in a good spot now. Good shot from the left. He's in a 1v1. He does get the kill. 1v2 now. On top of him. Sidearm. Brood melts him. Brood takes down two, which is good for his points. But not able to clutch up the round. It's looking like a clean sweep potentially coming in hot from our friends Jayharks, Chill Place, and Assassin. Reported. Possibly participating in his final round of this fun and friendly tournament. Brood gets a pick. Praxy gets somebody one shot. Oh, he gets sniped in the back. Oh, it's a double kill. Reported in a 1v2. He's going to get throwing knife. Chill Place is just fucking montaging out here a cloud strike double kill followed by a headshot throwing knife my god all righty jayharks with an 18 plus 7 for 25 chill place with an 18 plus 7 for 25 assassin with 10 plus 7 for 17 brood coming in hot with six praxy with four reported with four we'll total up those bitches and get you guys the info in a sec all righty ladies and gentlemen chill place with the most points in that bracket Chill Place getting themselves 50 points. Second place is Jayharks with 39. Third place is Assassin with 36. Fourth place is Broodwitch with 31. Chill Place, Jayharks, Assassin, Brood. Moving on to round two. Reported in Praxy. Thanks for playing. GG's, my friends. Bra round two has got 12 people playing from 12 to 6. It's got three matches instead of two. And only three people from each bracket are going to advance instead of four. So it's going to require a little bit more competition to make it through this one. It's going to be a little bit tougher.